Hello friends, this video on heat part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We have discussed all about uh, the hotness or coldness of a body. How do we measure the hotness uh, using temperature and how do we measure temperature using a thermometer. So we discussed all that. So now we want to understand how exactly heat gets transferred from one object to another. Like when you place the thermometer under your tongue. So we say that the bulb is getting heated up. Why? Because the bulb is getting heat from, the, from your heated body. So heat is actually getting transferred from your body to the bulb. So here we are going to discuss about uh, how heat gets transferred under one circumstances it will get transferred from one body to another. Now have you tried any of these? Have you ever seen something being cooked in your house, in the kitchen? So even if you have not cooked it yourself, have you ever seen your mom, cook, mom cooking something uh, in the kitchen? So what does she do? She normally takes a vessel, maybe a pan or something and she puts it on the stove. Right? So the vessel contains the vegetables or whatever she wants to prepare. And what happens? How the food gets prepared? The food gets prepared with heat. Now as you heat the vessel, so the vessel gets heated up and inside whatever you have, maybe the vegetables and all, they get fried up or they get cooked up, they get boiled. So how this heat transfer takes place from the stove to the vessel, how the vessel is getting heated up because heat is being transferred from the fire to the vessel. So from the source of heat, it is actually getting transferred to another object. And again, from the vessel, it is being transferred to the contents which are present inside the vessel, like the vegetables or uh, leaves or whatever. So what's happening? Heat transfer is happening. Similarly, if, if you have a candle which is well lit, and if you try to place your hand over the candle, maybe keeping some distance, how do you feel? You feel warm. So why do you feel warm? Because the heat is getting transferred from the candle to your hand. So heat transfer is taking place. Again, when you wash clothes, how do you dry them? So the clothes contain a lot of water immediately after you wash them. So when these wet clothes are kept in the sun, what happens? The sun gives lot of heat so the temperature is increasing so the heat is being transferred from the sun to the clothes and over some time over a period of time these clothes get dried up so in all these scenarios we see that the heat is being transferred from the source to some other object now here in this section we are going to discuss how is heat being transferred from one object to another what are the various ways by which heat can be transferred so how do we define heat transfer? It is the transfer of heat energy from one system to another or from one part of the system to another by virtue of temperature difference. Now when I talk about heat transfer, it is not necessary that it always has to be from the stove to the vessel. It also happens that the same object gets uh, experience heat transfer from one part to another. So let us say if you have a pan. So that pan handle is also made up of the same metal. So what happens? Now when you heat the pan, so initially the pan becomes very hot, but gradually the handle also starts becoming hot. So gradually the heat gets transferred from one part of the same pan to the other. And how this heat transfer happens? Due to temperature difference. So heat will get transferred only when I mean the heat will get transferred from one object to another or from one part to another only when those two objects or those two parts of the object are at different temperatures. If both of them are at the same temperature then there will be no heat transfer taking place. So temperature difference plays a major role, in fact the most important role in the process of heat transfer. For example, what happens when you touch a, a glass of cold drink which is completely chilled where as soon as you touch it you feel cold, right? Now, you touch it for a few seconds and then you remove your hand. What happens to your fingers? So your fingers become cold. Why, did, why is it cold even after you have uh, left the glass? That's because while you were touching the glass, there was heat transfer. Why there was heat transfer? Because there was temperature difference between the two objects. What are the two objects in this case? The first object is the glass. 
the second object is your hand so in this case the temperature of your hand was more so let us say this was the temperature of your hand and this was the temperature of the glass so in this case temperature of your hand was more than the temperature of the glass because the glass was very chilled so as soon as these two come in contact as soon as you touch the glass heat starts getting transferred from one object to another and heat always flows from a body which is at a higher temperature to a body which is at a lower temperature so heat starts flowing from your hand to the glass so therefore your hand is actually losing heat so when you lose heat what happens you tend to become colder and that is why when you leave the glass even after that your hand has become colder because it has lost a lot of heat to the glass and if you touch the glass now it will be comparatively a little more warm than before similarly when you touch a hot glass of coffee what happens in this case your hand becomes hot because in this case the heat transfer takes place from the cup to your hand because here the cup is at a higher temperature than your hand so this is how heat transfer takes place so heat transfer will take place only if there is a temperature difference now in case you are holding a glass which is at the room temperature it is neither cold nor is it hot so in that case the temperature of your hand also remains the same that's because there was no heat transfer which took place because both the objects were at the same temperature so there was no temperature difference so this is how we define heat transfer now the question is thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again